Hey guys, Trevor here with e-commerce paradise, high ticket dropshipping podcast. In today's episode, I'm going to talk to you about how long will high ticket dropshipping last? This is a question that a lot of people are wondering because high ticket dropshipping is a very lucrative business model. And I think people that are about to get into it are probably thinking to themselves, you know, is this a long-term sustainable business model or is this something that is going to fade away or is it a fad or is it just like a short term thing? So I want to go over some of the things that I've learned over the past 10 years of doing high ticket dropshipping and why I firmly believe that it is not just going to last, but it's going to grow like crazy in the coming decades. And now is the best time to get into it. So with that said, let's get into the talking points. Um, number one, high ticket dropshipping, the business model itself has actually been happening since the very beginning of the internet. So um, actually, Looking back, it's actually been going on since before the internet. If you look back to the old days of direct marketing and like newspaper ads, classified ads, and stuff like that, people have been drop shipping merchandise for a long time. Um, basic essence is you just put up an advertisement for a product, somebody would call you on the phone to order that product, and you would then place the order with the supplier, the supplier would ship it to the customer, you would take payment for the customer over the phone, and done deal, right? Um, same thing could be done with catalogs, and Sears was one of the first companies to do catalog stuff back in the 40s, 50s, whatever, long time ago, and um, it grew like crazy, right? And so people would get catalogs mailed to them, you'd place the order in the catalog, and then you send it to Sears. Well, Sears may not have actually had that merchandise in stock, so they'd go to the manufacturer who would have it in their warehouse and the manufacturer would ship it to the customer, charge Sears' business account or credit card or whatever they have going on, and then the customer would get the merchandise, um, Sears would get the money from the customer and they would keep the difference. That's how it works, right? So how do you get dropshipping been going on for many, many, many decades? Um, so it's definitely a sustainable, well, it's definitely an old business model, something that has history to it, which is important to start with. Uh, the next thing I wanted to say is that e-commerce is actually now a trillion dollar a year industry. It's pretty intense. Um, and it's only going to grow as technology improves, as smartphone technology improves, as tablets become more used, as uh, technology that is AI based or augmented reality, things like that, VR. As, as technology improves and becomes more of an everyday thing in our lives, another one is like the smart watches and smart TVs and stuff like that, um, we're able to buy things through advertisements in many different ways that before we weren't really able to do. Like if you're watching a TV show and it's one of your favorite TV shows and there's a product placement, but it's not just a product placement, like actually something pops up on the TV and allows you to purchase that product right then and there, um, that's not too far off and it's probably already happening in some channels. I don't watch too much TV, so I don't know if that's possible yet or not, but um, maybe if you're playing a video game, for instance, and in that video game there's product placement for some sort of a product and something pops up and it allows you, you know, to pause the game and buy that product right away. Um, things like that are actually coming into fruition and happening more and more. So as technology improves, as people become more used to it, to shopping while they're doing other things like entertainment or cruising their social feed, things like that, um, then, you know, e-commerce is just going to grow. It just, it's basically making it easier for people to impulse buy stuff. Um, with high ticket dropship, it's not as impulse buy as it is more targeted based on the person's, um, you know, being in the market to buy a product. So if they're in actually the buying phase and they'll be searching out a product, and that's usually when you want to put that product in front of them because it's higher ticket. So there's usually a longer sales funnel approach with that. And a lot of things, a lot of times you need to have email marketing backing up all of your stuff so that, you know, you can bring people back into your funnel. Um, but with that said, technology is improving in all those different places too. And there's a lot of marketing automation that's happening these days that, you can use to bring people into the funnel and the market on automation and the software is getting better and better and better. So as time goes on, this will improve and it's just going to become more lucrative. My next talking point, a lot of people think that these business models are going to decline when the economy declines. And I think that's kind of funny because you would think that, but the truth is, is that even as the economy goes through ups and downs, and uh, you know booms and recessions, there will always be rich people who can afford expensive things. And usually, in bear markets, the rich actually get richer, right? They hold onto their cash reserves and in a bear market, they're going to be able to purchase a lot of investments so that they can then become richer when the market comes back up to normal. So the smart rich 
become richer, right? In a bear market. There's always going to be a market for high ticket products just because these people are out there and they're looking to buy expensive things for their home. And so you should be the person that's the middleman doing it. We are, and we're making lots of money doing that, and I love doing it. We're also now working with investors to even help them build businesses, and we're even creating lucrative businesses to sell to investors. So it's a really exciting um, place to be a part of and an industry to be a part of because expensive products um, are very, very, very widely um, purchased, and the internet facilitates trade like no other um, trading platform has ever done before. My next talking point, um, talking about platforms, is that platforms for selling and marketing products are actually becoming less expensive and easier to use, uh, making the opportunity to enter a new market with a dropshipping e-commerce store easier than ever before. So if you are wondering, like, you know, I don't know technology, I don't know how to make a website, I've never used marketing platforms before. Um, well, if you ever have used the internet and you've ever you know, used a forum or a social media site, maybe you've created a Facebook page in the past or something like that, um, things like that are, are actually pretty much like making an e-commerce store, right? The same things apply. You have to create pages, you create maybe blog posts, you, know, you create product listings. If you don't know copywriting or anything like that, how to, how to create um, you know, content that sells a product or persuades people to buy a product or excites them about it, then you just need to learn some sales skills, okay? And you can buy books on Amazon and read books. You can watch videos here on YouTube. Um, I'll be making a lot more on YouTube. I have some in my master class right now, but the key with selling is just four things, attention, interest, desire, and action. And it's really key to understand that that's the funnel, that's where you bring people to. So you have to establish the attention, you have to get their attention, um, you know, get them interested in it, get them really desiring it so they're ready to take action and then take action to buy it. Um, that's basically sales right there. But these selling platforms do that on an automated basis. So they're able to, you're able to create a website and people are already, you know, they've already gotten their attention. They know they want that fireplace for their patio, or that fire pit or whatever. Um, they're interested in it now. They're searching down, you know, into like brands and stuff like that. They want to find the product. They, they find a product they like. They now are going to, you know, they're really, really desiring that product. So they're going to look for other competitors that might offer a better deal on it, looking for the best store that they trust, that they want to do business with. And then they go and purchase, they take action and that's you. Okay. Um, platforms like Shopify, uh, Shopify is an e-commerce store building platform that's really easy to use. I highly recommend it. I use it for all of my stores now. I offer a uh, free Shopify store trial. If you go to ecommerceparadise.com slash Shopify, you can get a free two-week trial of Shopify so you can test it out. You can see what it's like to actually build a store. They're, they have a ton of free themes and free apps you can plug into it, and everything's built in, and it's only 30 bucks a month once you go to pay for it. So it's really, really affordable. And with high-ticket products, you're making around like $100 to $500 per sale and profit, so you can easily pay that hosting fee. The next talking point is that, listen guys, there's always going to be competition. It's actually a good thing to have competitors, okay? Um, don't ever go to mark, uh, enter a market without competition because that probably means there's something wrong with the products in that market. They're not selling or they're just a pain in the butt to manage or something like that. So it's always good to find a market with lots of competition because there's probably lots of people buying those products and lots of search volume. Now it's harder to compete, of course. You're going to have to set yourself apart. So you have to learn how to set yourself apart, how to make your business more unique. And that's how you make your business last, right? Your business is not going to grow that fast unless it's unique and it has the best deal out there and it's the best branded business as well. You have to make your business memorable and you have to remind people who you are on a consistent basis, follow up with them, make your business marketing and branding memorable to them, right? That's how you win with high-ticket dropshipping. But if you're just getting started, right, and you really want to learn what products are profitable and how to do market research, um, I have a free guide for you. It's a niches list and market research guide. All you have to do is go to ecommerceparadise.com slash 99 niches. You can download it there. And it's a list of 99 profitable niches, and these are just product categories basically that I've done business in and found that they're profitable. And then I also have a market research guide so you can actually go and do your own research online and find more niches that you like and then decide upon that. And then if you still don't really know, you can schedule a niche selection coaching call with me. Just go to ecommerceparadise.com under coaching, and I charge $97 for an hour. I actually go with you online and do actual real world research where I show you competitor sites, I show you this keyword search volume, I show you suppliers, and I make my best recommendation based on my decade or more, decade and more of experience in high ticket drop shipping. 
All right, and then if you actually have the money to invest and buy an e-commerce business, but you're still a beginner, so you know you want to start one of these businesses and you have money to invest, maybe you have a 401k or you have you know some savings or something like that, and you have like ten, twenty thousand dollars and you want to buy a store, I actually offer a turnkey business package. So nobody else is offering this out there. You can go out and try to buy a store, but it's probably not that well built. Um, you're gonna have to take on a lot of stuff, but if you buy one of my turnkey business packages, what you get is you get a fully built out e-commerce store, you get all the marketing channels built out, the email marketing, and the Google ads, and the Facebook ads, retargeting, and the social media channels automated and set up for you. So it's a really cool package, and I'm doing this because I'm really good at doing this. I build these stores like clockwork, and I can make them super profitable in their first month. And if you are that type of person, you buy that package, or you already have an e-commerce store, I'm actually offering management services now. So I can manage your Google AdWords, your email marketing, and I'm going to be building out a customer service and business operations management service as well. So I can actually take over the running of your e-commerce business and make sure that it gets run properly because we know how to run these businesses really well so that they're streamlined and we have great processes and we're building a team of virtual assistants that will be able to run your store. So uh, I'm building this agency out, guys, so look for that in the future. Um, this is how you make it last. You actually partner with other companies that offer software and services to help you build out your business. And that's what this whole business model is all about, guys. You're, you're leveraging other people's money and other people's resources to make you money. And at the end of the day, what you're going to be having, what you're going to have is you're going to have net profit, but you're also going to have a marketable asset, a high ticket dropshipping business that's outsourced, right? And that's run profitably. And so you can actually go and sell that. And the average price for a high ticket dropshipping business on the market for investors is around, well, the average multiple is around 12 to 24 X. So if you're making a thousand dollars a month, and it's been around for about six months, you can probably get about $12,000 for it. But if you are making $2,000 a month and it's been around for about a year, you can get 24X, right? So that's around $50,000. So think about that. If you can get your store to an average net profit per month of $2,000, which isn't much, it's actually a lot easier. It's very easy to get it twice that or more. But $2,000 for a year on average, you can sell it for $50,000. So if you can get it to double that 4,000 a month on average, uh, for a whole year, then you can sell it for $100,000 and more, of course, as you scale. And so we're working on building out these big stores where we can make, you know, on average $10,000 net profit, $20,000 net profit per month. It's not easy. It's definitely very, very intensive as far as like sales and customer service and, you know, all this business operation stuff and optimization, but it's worth it because this asset can be worth a lot of money. And it's been done in the past and these stores have been built and they've been sold and they're very successful and it's it doesn't mean it can't be done again, right? This stuff can be done over and over and over again. These industries are competitive, but there's always space for new competitors. It's amazing how much abundance is out there, guys. Um, this business model and the, these industries are only going to continue to grow. There's so many profitable product categories to sell out there. It's just ridiculous. People are making tons of money. If you look at the numbers of Wayfair um, and any of their businesses or the build.com network or Amazon, you know, you just see that it's just ridiculous how much money they're making. You can get a piece of the pie by just building out your own platform and marketing just like they do. And it's not that hard. So the verdict here, guys, is that high ticket and drop shipping definitely isn't going anywhere. Um, if you are qualified for this business model, if you have good credit, right, and you have five hundred to a thousand dollars or you know, ten or twenty thousand dollars to invest in a business or at least invest in a course and learn it yourself and build it yourself, then you can definitely get in now. And I suggest getting in now while the getting still good because if you wait five years, 10 years, it's gonna be way more competitive. And it's just gonna be a different landscape because software is changing all the time, marketing channels are changing all the time. So it's really good to get practice now so that you can grow into the future, right? Like it, the saying goes that in a year, you'll be really glad you started now. And it's true. And you just have to build a habit of working on it every single day for at least 30 minutes. You know, if you just sit down and work on your store for 30 minutes, that 30 minutes will turn into an hour, that hour will turn into two and three. And all of a sudden you're not gonna be watching more, any more TV or or listening to the radio or any BS, you're literally just going to be working on your store and masterminding with people all the time and getting coaching from a mentor like me because you know that this is profitable like I do. Like I have the utmost conviction and belief that this product, that this uh, business model works and these products sell online. And so I just do it all the time because I know how well it works. It's just a model that I've created and I've perfected and I've created this recipe of success. So if you guys are wondering if high ticket dropshipping is going to last, I say yes. Let me know what you think in the comments below, or if you're listening on the podcast, 
you know, shoot me an email or something. Let me know what you think. I'd love to get in touch with you. Um, if you haven't got my niches list, that's the entry point to my funnel. If you want to learn more about me and learn more from me, definitely go get that. Again, ecommerceparadise.com slash 99 niches. I'll be sending you emails once you sign up for that to sign up for a free mini course. And of course, my master class after that, if you're interested in that, you can sign up for that. Um, and I have my turnkey business packages and my management services and coaching. Guys, I'm here to help you. Um, I want to make you successful with high ticket dropshipping. It's a lot of fun. It's a passion of mine as a mentor, as a teacher, um, to give back to the community. So that's what I'm here to do. And my services are the top of the industry. Um, I actually do it myself. I do all my coaching myself. I do all the services myself. I don't outsource this stuff. I do outsource like adding products to the site and doing you know some content and stuff like that, um, which makes sense. But I do all the actual business building stuff myself, as opposed to if you were to go out to like some of these people like Coach Gianni or whatever, um, they're going to basically hire a bunch of other people to build this stuff for you, and you're probably going to get mediocre results just because those people don't really do it themselves, whereas I'm actually running a high-ticket dropshipping store myself, and we're growing it as we're doing this, so it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's crazy. I do work seven days a week. Um, up to like six to eight hours a day or more. Um, but I do take some time and breaks and I do a lot of learning as well. Um, learning keeps me going and it's really exciting for me. And you know, honestly, I love what I do. And you know, they say that if, uh, if you love your job, then you'll never work another day in your life. And that's definitely how I feel. Um, I don't really consider this work. I consider it um, exciting and fun and a passion of mine. So I hope you feel the same about your life. And if you don't, then definitely, you know, reach out to me and, and uh, you, you know, we can do a talk or something like that. And I can maybe do some coaching, some life coaching for you. So um, however you want to do it. But all right, guys, well, thanks for listening in. Get your niches list at ecommerceparadise.com and we'll check in the next episode. Take care.